Oh gosh, it's you. I thought someone is following me. No, it's me. Is this for me? Not for me? Yes, it's for you. Excuse me? You are... Oh, hi. I'm your new housemate. You can call me Brian. Do you want some orange? Sure. Mmm. It's nice. Anyway, where do you come from? Uh, I'm from Tanjong... Tanjong Rapatan? No, Tanjong Papaya. Peter, is that Eric and Brian? It seems like the rumour about them is real. I think they're, they're just shopping together. What's the big deal? I'm very hungry now. Let's go and eat. Okay. Peter, Peter, let's take a break. Okay, sure. Let's go. Peter, Peter, look at that. Wow. There's a pretty girl over there. Stop looking at her! Hey, wait for me, Jen. Oh my 
ਨੇ ਕਾ ਪਿੱਤਲ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਦਾ ਹੈ ਵਾ ਹਾ ਕੈਨ ਦੇ ਡੂ ਸਚ ਥਿੰਗ ਨਾ ਪਾਬੀ ਏਰੀਆ ਯੂ ਜੈਰਾ ਸੀ ਜੇ ਇਸ ਦੈਮ ਅਗੇਨ ਹਾਈ ਫੋਰਗੇਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਹੀ ਵਿਲ ਅਵੋਇਡ ਥਿਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਅਗੇਨ Lawrence, how are you doing with your boyfriend recently? Are you still together with him? Yeah, why are you asking like that? I think you should know about it. Huh? What happened? Do you heard the rumor about Eric is gay? We meet them a few times in different places. And they look like a sweet couple. And you know what? You won't believe on what I saw that day. Yeah, I remember the day. I saw a pretty girl over there, and you can't imagine how pretty she is, you know. Peter, you better shut up. Is this real? Eric is gay. Should I believe them? No, I think I should find Eric and ask about it. He's not around. Where is he going? What's going on? What happened between you and Erin? Would you like to share with me? At first, someone saw you and Erin always shopping together. After that, I heard about the rumor about you and Erin is gay. Followed by that, my best friend Jen and Peter told me that they met you guys in different places, and both of you are acting like a sweet couple. So I came and find Erin. because of this but he is not around when i reach so i plan to wake him in his room but i saw a long hair on his bed therefore i conclude that you and eric is gay no you are so wrong eric and i went shopping was because of he wanted to buy a present Besides, I came from overseas, and Eric is the only friend in KL. Therefore, I spend most of the time with him. About the hair, yes, it belongs to me, but things are not how you think they are. I always dry my hair inside his room, and I am not a gay. Actually, I have a girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah. Never mind. Let me show you. 
Wow, your girlfriend looks beautiful. I think I should apologize to both of you. Sorry about that. Never mind, it's okay. This story is about Eric and Florence are couple. However, Brian is coming into their relationship as there's a rumor about Eric and Brian is gay. Besides, Florence's best friend Peter and Jane often encounter Eric and Brian when out together and behave like a gay couple. After that, Florence knows everything from Peter and Jane and found a long hair on Eric's bed which leads lead them to have a conflict. Towards the end, Brian explains everything to Florence, therefore misunderstanding has been solved perfectly. The first problem that illustrated in this story is non-assertion. 
non-assertion is the inability or unwillingness to express thought or feeling in a conflict due to lack of confidence and lack of awareness to use a direct means of expression. We can see that Eric had non-assertion behavior as shown in this story. Eric doesn't clarify that the box is not for her when Florence possibly takes the box. As a result, Eric chose to let Florence take the box to avoid conflict and he ends up with disappointment. The second problem that illustrated in this story is direct aggression. Direct aggression is an expression of a criticism or demand that written the face of the person at whom it is directed. It is clear that Florence had direct aggressive behavior in this story as she forcibly takes the box away from Eric although she knows that the box is not for her. Besides, Eric feel speechless when Florence left Eric. When they were having an argument, Eric didn't clarify it therefore lead Florence thought that the rumor was real. Thus, it leads Florence try to commit suicide as Eric didn't clarify about the rumor. The third problem that illustrated in this story is passive aggression. Passive aggression is an expression of hostility in a way that is not obvious. This story shows that Peter is a passive aggressive person. He often encounters Eric and Brian when out together, but Peter responds in a humor and unmindful way, while Jane keeps on annoying Peter. Therefore, Jane was willing up to tell Peter about Eric and Brian when Jane meet them beside the football field. Best way to deal with conflict is to be assertive. An assertive person is handling conflict by expressing needs, thoughts and feelings clearly and directly without judging or stating others. In the end of the story, the aggressive behavior is demonstrated in Brian that he shows in the story when he has a talk with Lawrence honestly, which clarifies that he is not gay and he has a lovely girlfriend in Sarawak.